Well, there's always some controversy going into the NRL Grand Finals and then the final round of the regular season, that controversy turned to the shoulder charge. Uh, we had a couple of examples of what some might describe as a perfect example, and I'm talking about myself here, it would be a perfect example of a shoulder charge by Jack Whiten. Uh, who was sensationally let off from a three-week uh, ban, which would have seen him miss the rest of the season, despite the fact that he led with his shoulder and has been charged twice before, Bomber. How does Whiten get off this? Oh, very big opinion there, Ben. Yep. Um, and we also have the Mick Ennis, which also got let off. Uh, slightly less contact, arm away from the, uh, the body. That was their reasoning behind letting him off. Maybe should have been one week, especially when you see uh, poor... Paul Green did come off second best. It was quite late as well. Led with the shoulder, arm slightly away, so he gets away with it. Whiten, arm slightly more tucked into the body, a lot more force and a lot more history of doing the uh, the charge. Yeah, well, obviously the, the Whiten one there, like the, the Whiten one was definitely a shoulder charge in my eyes, but yeah. under the rules, the guideline of, of the rules, mm. it wasn't a shoulder charge because mm. he, his arm's away from his body. like. What does it take to be a shoulder charge? Well, anyway? I don't know. If you hit somebody with the, with the shoulder mm. and you're not going to tackle them, yep. it's a shoulder charge. Maybe yep. they say this, there's, there's three, three criteria that they look at. Mm -hmm. Maybe if they took that first criteria that the arm has to be tucked. Yep. And if you're gonna, like both of them there, like the white one, mm -hmm. he wasn't going to tackle him. Mm -hmm. So it's a shoulder charge. Yep. Why would, never... you, why, why, why would you do that? Why, why, it, you, you won by tw 30 points. You're in the last round of the, the season. Either way, win or lose, you're still playing the Canberra Raiders. Uh, sorry, you're still playing the Cronulla Sharks in the first round of the finals. Why put yourself in a position where you could be out, you know, ruled out of the whole final series? Yeah, just, just, brain snap? Just stupidity. Yeah, yeah. brain snap. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want to call it. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And just looking at that, both of them, yeah, mm -hmm. should be gone. Yeah. You know? Going to the finals now, we've seen two, two. Sh well, Mick Ennis might have been a bit of the grey area, but Jack Whiten's, uh, I, I'm just going to say that was a shoulder charge, well, but he's, he's gotten off it. Now, well, uh, go, going into this week, what, what stops a player just going, oh, I'm just going to shoulder charge. And after this, if, if they let Whiten off, ha how do I get charged after oh, that? Oh, well, that's mean I'm just going to shoulder charge him now, but as long as I don't tuck my shoulder there, I'll keep my mm. arm out there and shoulder charge and just keep my arm out. As long as my arm's not, not tucked, it's not a shoulder charge. So. Yep. It, the rule was to was brought in to, to for player player safety. Obviously, yeah. leading with the shoulder, there's a good chance you're going to connect with a head, cause an injury that's uh, that could be season season ending for for the defender themselves, um, uh, for the attacker. Sorry, um, <laughs> where's where's the sense in this? Oh, I don't know. I I think next year they've either got to amend it or bring the shoulder charge back in. Hmm. Just bring it back in and say it's it's allowed. But if a shoulder charge anywhere near the head, or there's a whiplash effect to the head there, mm -hmm. which causes an injury, that's a suspension. Mm -hmm. but, but they can't keep keep going this way. You're going to see another probably five of them this week, and no one will say anything about them. So yep, it's it, it, yeah. Going going through the does this is this an example of the judiciary system which isn't working? Ah oh, well well. It can work, but it's just incon inconsistency. Mm. If the match review committee is not on the on the same path as the judiciary, mm. so so obviously in the, in the off season, the match review committee and the judiciary maybe should get together and have a bit of a talk and work out what is a shoulder charge, what is this rule, and mm -hmm. and all that there. So they both so when they're when they're charged, mm. most of the time they probably shouldn't get off. Mm. So. Most of the time, when they when they bring up that they're they're looking at a in the match review, they're going to look at an incident. They don't yeah. usually go to the next step of explaining why Jack Whiten's incident was different to McGuinness's. And it seemed like they were prepping because they they knew they had to uh, they had to rule him out for a few games. They they waited until after the captain's call to say anything about it as well because they were worried about the media copping onto those those kind of questions with the captain. Uh, how do you kind of do a U-turn from that? I guess. Yeah, it's pr pretty hard. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. They've just put themselves uh, into a corner. So yep. yeah, I guess so. Well, there was always going to be some controversy. Do you think this is uh, as big as it could have gotten? Oh, well, obviously, if you're a Canberra Raiders fan, it probably is there. Yeah. So, but like you said, we're probably going to have some more incidents over there. I think there was more spotlight on the white one because mm. Innes got off. Yep. If Innes wasn't there at all, and all we were talking about Jack White, and I'm sure most people would have said, "Oh, that's a shoulder charge." But because Innes got off, they're saying. Yeah. Oh well, if his is not a shoulder charge, mm. his is not a shoulder charge. So, mm -hmm. so, so let him off. So, yep. Yes. And like you said, they put a thing out saying mm -hmm. what 
what we look at, well, then if you look at Whiten's, because Whiten's had his armour arm aside, so he can't be a shoulder charge hmm. under yep. the rules. Yep. Uh, would you have given him three weeks? Well, I would have given him a grading, and, mm. and obviously with his loading, like yep. it's, it's probably not a, th a, th a three-week suspension, but mm -hmm. if you've got history, mm -hmm. that's why it was a, it was a three-week offence. Mm. And he's been charged for it twice, so he does, yeah. definitely does history. Well, so. maybe, <laughs> maybe he just doesn't, he's not a quick learner. <laughs> Well, the Canberra Raiders uh, go into the final series this weekend against the Cronulla Sharks and uh, Whiten will be playing in the fullback role. Uh, luckily for uh, Ricky Stewart, he'll be the one happy about that.